Hey, yo, what is up, everyone? Welcome back to a brand new video. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to root any Android device without using a computer, without using any custom recovery like Tita, BRB, or anything like that, without unlocking the bootloader of Android device. Easy and simple. So, for this video, I want to ask you if you are not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe, activate the notification to get notified about a new video, and let's get started. So as I just said, I'm going to be showing you step by step how you can get root access on your Android device. It doesn't matter the phone you're using, it doesn't matter the version you're using, the method that I'm going to be showing you is going to work on any Android device without using a computer, of course, without using TTAB RB as I just said, without unlocking the bootloader of your Android device, which is pretty easy to do, without having your device easy and 100% safe. So let's start by making some changes on the device. We are going to make some changes on your Android device to make a... So first of all, open the setting of your Android device by clicking the setting icon on your Android device, just like this, the setting icon. Click on it. Scroll down to the last option about phone or about device or about our system. Just like this, about phone. There you're going to find the, the option saying build the number. Find the option saying build the number, click it on it around seven times to activate the developer option. We need to activate the developer option. Click it on it around seven times on build the number to unlock the developer option. Return. Once you did that, once you have it unlocked, the developer option will be available there on your setting of the Android device. The developer option will be available there. If you can't find this option, you can just click it right over here in the corner and this cheese icon right over here. Type the developer option. You will find that developer option. Click on it. By doing that, it will open this window. If it is disabled, just like this, just enable by clicking right over here and this icon right over here in the corner to enable. Click OK. If you ask you, we don't need to worry about it. It's one hundred percent safe. The the method that I'm going to be showing you. Scroll down, find this option saying use BT Pokemon mode. You need to enable this option as well. Click right over here on the corner and this icon to enable it. Click it OK if you ask you. Here on window animation scale, you need to disable the animation, put the animation off. Don't worry, it won't harm in your device. It's 100% safe, as I just said. Transition animation to the same process. Put the animation off. Animate or treasure to the same process. Animation off. Alright. Find this option saying force GPU rendering. You need to enable this option as well. Click right over here in the corner to do that. To enable. Okay. Now I'm going to be showing you that I don't have Ruby SS installed on my phone. To do that, I'm going to be using the application. These two applications, the link will be available in the description. Or you can get this true application on Play Store. You can install one of these applications if you want. I'm going to be using this application. I'm going to be using this true application, one of these applications. The root is to find out if my phone have no root access. If you want to know as well, you can use them. The link will be available in the description. Download, install on your phone. This app is only going to verify if my phone have root access or not. It's not going to root my phone. So to do that, to find out if your phone have root access or not, just click right over here on check. By doing that, the application will automatically start to verify and it's going to tell you if your phone have root access or not. As you can see, now rooted root access is now installed on my Android device. Okay, okay, you need to download one more application. The link will be available in the description of this video. The application that we are going to be using to get root access on our Android device. Download the link will be available in the description. Download the app. The link will be available in the description of the app. This is the application that we are going to be using to get root access on our Android device without using a computer, without using the type URB, without unlocking the bootloader of my Android device. Easy and simple. As I just said, the link will be available in the description of this video. Then load install on your Android device. You don't need to worry about it. It doesn't have virus. It's 100% safe and pretty easy to use. Just install it on your phone.
All right, then load the application installed on your Android device. Open it up by clicking right over here on open. You don't need to worry about it. As I have just said, the application, it doesn't have a virus. It's 100% safe. It won't harm your device. All right, once you open it, the application is going to be just like this. The application is in Chinese. I don't know what exactly they're saying. By clicking right over here on the first option, clicking on it, swap to the right to proceed. Swap one more time to the right, proceed, and click right over here. Click on it. By doing that, it will uh, open this window. What you're going to do, just click right over here on this option. I don't know exactly what they saying. Click on it to give it the permission to the application. Give you all the control to the app. Return. Now, click right over here on this other option. Click it out over here. You don't need to worry about it. Just to allow everything. Give you all the permission to the application. It's a 100 your device. It's 100 percent safe and easy to use. Just to wait a little bit. The application is now initializing. By doing that, the application will initialize it. As you can see, it has initialized now. What we're going to do now, we are going to make some change on this emulator. To do that, just open the setting of the uh, of the emulator by clicking right over here on the setting icon. Click on it. Scroll down. We need first, we need to change this a uh, Chinese language. Find this word icon. The word icon. Click on it. Click on the first option. Click on the second one in this option to add language. By doing that, uh, you will have there a lot of language. You can choose the one that you want to apply. I'm go I want to install English. Take the English and drag it to the first place. By doing that, the application, uh, the language will be applied. So it's the return. All right, now scroll down to the last option about phone or about device. We are going to unlock the developer option to make this emulator faster. About phone or about device, find there the developer, I mean, the build number. Find build number, click on it around seven time to activate developer option. Around seven time. By doing that, you will unlock developer option. You can return it now. We'll find the developer option. If you can't find developer option to the same process as we did on the start, click right over here on this icon, right over here in the kind of the cheese icon. There you you're going to choose for a the developer option. Well, how can I develop? Anyway, if you can't find the hit developer option, just choose it right over here in the corner as I just said click on developer option to open it up open the developer option as you can see it's going to be just like this find the usb debugging mode you need to enable this option click a lot over here in the kind to enable okay okay if you ask you to proceed scroll down here on window animation skill to the same process as we did on the start animation animation skill Disable the animation completely, transition animation, disable this as well, do the same process on animator, disabled. For now, find this option, a uh, same for GPU render as we did on the start, enable this option by clicking right over here on the corner. Okay. Alright. Now I want to be a uh, I want to install the root shaker on this emulator. To do that, to install application here. If you want, for example, install a PUBG, the game, or any application you want to install, just to click right over here on this app, right over here in the corner. Click on it. By doing that, it will open this window. You're going to just click right over here on the first option to install a app. These are all the application which are installed on your Android device. What you're going to do just click a choose the one time you want to install. In my case, I want to install the root shaker. I'm gonna be installing. Click it right over here. 
to proceed by doing that the application will start a will be installed just to return is now installed return as you can see we have installed the root shaker open up the application to find out if this emulator have root access or not click right over here on agree to proceed swap to the right to proceed swap one more time to the right to proceed as you can see now what we're going to do just uh, to verify just click right over here on verify root by doing that the application will start to verify and it's going to tell you if your phone have root access or not as you can see congratulations root access is properly installed on this device on my device without using a computer without unlocking the bootloader of my android device without using any custom recovery like TWRB, easy and simple okay guys i will start from here with this video help you out if this video help you out please leave a like and subscribe to my channel if you are not subscribed i give the notification to get notified about new video and i see you guys on the next one peace out